have for you a very well-known classic. It's called a bucket bag, okay? And we're gonna be talking about why yeah. bucket bags are so popular right now, but we have this for you, brand new, already a five-star review, in gorgeous colors, and look at the way this compact bucket style, almost like a tote. What I like about it, how it's got in the front here, these two separate pockets. It's almost like a unique Western inspired woven leather bucket bag. So again, this is also something very expensive to do that Patricia does, not only in the front, also in the back. This is our sunflower blue. And there's 40 left in this. Right next to that, this is the cognac. And in the cognac, there's a hundred left. And I'll go through this bag for you. Then this is our wow. koi orange. And there's also like 40 left in this. And this is all leather. This is so hard to do. So hard. I know, and look at all that detail, Amy. That's all laced. All that design on the pockets and on the bag. That's all hand laced. And I mean, it, you, when you say that, you think, okay, great, it's hand laced. No, ladies, it has a really thick needle on it. You do it, and it's very, very slow. I mean, it's just amazing. And look at the inside. You've got that zip pocket on that back wall. Look how deep that bag is. And on the other side, you've got those elastic pockets. So if you're a lady that likes to drop in all my stuff, you know, maybe you want to drop in my umbrella, an extra pair of shoes, um, my water bottle, my kids' snacks, <laughs> you know, whatever. I mean, this is a great bag for you. These drawstring bucket bags are so popular they right are. now. They I are. Think, I think it's because people are stopping off at places to do things and whatever, and they just want to drop uh, something to drop in all those little essentials. When, when you want to make a little road trip on the side, you know? Oh. My daughter with my four, her four kids, four boys, they like to just stop at the park on the way home or stop over on the side of the road. And she likes to be prepared for all that kind of stuff. And she loves this kind of bag. Yeah. She just kind of throws in the snacks and all that things. And she just opens it up and passes it out. And gets home and everything's great, but it's still the size that she can carry as her handbag all day long. And look at the pockets on both sides, Amy. So you can put your phone in there, your keys in there, your, oh, who knows what else you want to put in there, your snacks. So it, it's a really great vintage inspired bag. I remember this bag from the seventies, all this artisan detailing on it and mm -hmm. I wanted to bring it back for today but I knew it had to be functional and they because, are they're very functional yeah. last call in that blue ladies so if you wear a lot of indigo maybe you wear a lot of chambray again this is by now half forever I love how it has the flat bottom so when you do set it down it will stand uh, you can also yeah. wear this crossbody because you've got the 21 to 24 inch extendable strap on this and then the way the bag sits by itself it's 10 half inches in length six and three quarter inches in width and the bag extends uh 12 and three quarter inches in height so it's quite a larger bag you can see we're counting backwards we only have 140 of these left so it is something really popular in style right now one thing i love look what patricia did on this when you look at this how it's scalloped that leather again that's yeah, so that hard pink, to do we, we, yeah we call that pink shearing and, and to do that you actually have to have a really thick good quality leather because if you tried to do that on a cheap leather, it wouldn't execute right. So that in itself shows you the kind of quality of leather that we used. And then the single stitch up the side of that. And it doesn't weigh it. I can't get over how light your bags are. I really well, can't, you know, you know? It's so funny, Amy, that a lot of these big brands think they have to make your, your bags feel heavy for you to think that they should be more expensive. It's really kind of uh, uh, unusual, but this is all 100% leather. We don't have like this heavy base plastic, you know, uh, base on it. They, they kind of put fillers in there to make you feel like you're getting something, you know, more substantial, but there's nothing far from the truth. When you, when you buy a, a, a leather hide, it is what it is. And that's what we make the bag out of.
Mm. Sometimes it might be a little thinner. Sometimes it right. might be a little thicker. But it's leather. It's all leather. Okay. Patricia, in about 30 seconds, this bag will be gone, ladies. All of them. <laughs> All of them. So it's a limited quantity that we have. So if you're saying, I love the bucket story, and this actually started from the way they used to feed horses. Um, they used yeah, to do... Ah, uh, Amy, you remember? I do remember, and... Oh, it sold out. I rode horses for years. I didn't even have a chance to show you what the inside this is. <laughs> and we would take uh, the feeding bucket in. That's how you yes. would feed them. So yes. anyway, I'm glad everybody's loving this. All right, stay right there. We have one for you. Jesus is going to be a fast and furious show.